Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome back to Music Greatness. This is Ruben and for today we have Breathing Underwater by Hiatus Coyote. And it sounds just like this. Okay, so on this first part, I will focus on breaking down the intro for you. The song is played in the key of D, D major, and for this intro, we're going to stop up here, playing G major 7. That's three notes on my left, G, D, and F sharp. The root, the fifth, and the major seventh. On my right, I'm playing one note, that's B, the major third using my thumb. So the first chord is G major 7. Then I'm going to go up and play E minor 9. Now two notes on my left and also two notes for the right. E and G, B and F sharp. Next up, we're going to play this. That's G major 7 again, but now I'm playing octave B on my right hand. Still having G, D and F sharp on my left. And then coming at the end of this intro, we're going to go down here on the keyboard and play this. G major 7 with a sharp 11, G and F sharp now for the left, playing B and C sharp on my right hand. So C sharp is the sharp 11th of G. And then the last chord for this intro, simply G major 7, G and F sharp, and then B alone right hand. And that would be all you need for this intro. So once again, we start on G major 7, up here on the keyboard. Then we have E minor 9. G major 7 again with octave B on the right. And then later on in the intro, go one octave lower and play G major 7 with a sharp 11. And then simply G major 7, so we move the sharp 11. Alright, now for the playing pattern, I will divide this intro in two parts. Here's the first one. Okay, so that's the first part. 
As you can see, I started on G major 7, playing this. I first played the bottom note of my chord, and that's G, and then I played the rest of the notes, D, F sharp, and B, then we played the bottom note, and again the rest of the notes. chord all at once so all the notes at once just like so and then go up with my right hand playing C sharp with my second finger D third finger and land on E minor 9 just like so and now using my left hand I'm gonna play E down here with my pinky and then back on my right hand I will play A with the pinky and then E with the third finger. Once again, G major 7. time. Okay, so starting the intro, we're going to play the same movement from G major 7. Going to E, E minor 9, we're going to play that twice. And then we're going to play the third chord for the intro. That's G major 7 using octave B on the right. So we're going to play first the bottom note like we did for the first G major 7. And then play twice the rest of the notes. So that's D and F sharp. And then octave B. Just like so. So G, ta, ta. Now on the left, again, we're going to go down and reach for E using the pinky. And then play on the right, A, B, and A again. Fourth finger and pinky. Then F sharp, A, back on F sharp. 3rd finger and 4th finger Actually, that's the 3rd finger and the pinky again So F sharp A and F sharp use the pinky on A So, so far, here's the intro from the top. Three, four. Almost done with the first part of the intro. Next up, we're going to play this movement that starts on the right hand. So that's a very quick riff. We start playing a grace note from F sharp going up on G. I have my third finger on F sharp and my fourth finger on G. Then I will go back on F sharp, 
then play E with my thumb. And now using my fourth finger, I'm gonna play C sharp, just like so. Then play B, third finger, A, second finger, and G with the thumb. Then back on my third finger, I'll play F sharp, E with my thumb, again C sharp, fourth finger, B, third finger, A, second, and then I will play octave G using my thumb up here and my pinky on my left down here. the first part of the intro. So once again, grace note from F sharp to G, F sharp, E, C sharp, B, A, G, and then F sharp, E, C sharp, B, A, ending on octave G, using both hands. From the top. the first part for the intro. For the second part now we have a much more simple pattern. So we were on octave G from the end of the first part of the intro and we're going to start there. So play octave G and then play G major 7 with a sharp 11. Okay. So still holding on to the G on the bottom, on your left, you're going to complete the chord and play F sharp, B and C sharp using your left, thumb on your left for F sharp, and then the two notes C, sorry, B and C sharp on your right hand. Just like so. And basically, for the second part, we're going to play a back and forth between G major 7, sharp 11, and G major 7. Playing this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the first four measures for the second part of the intro. Basically, I'm playing the bottom note first on the first beat of the measure. And then a little bit before the third beat, I'm going to complete the chord and play F sharp, B, and C sharp. do that for four measures then I'm going to redo the same pattern for four measures also on B major 7 one two three four 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 one two
two and three four. One two and three four. One two and three four. One two and three four. Next up, I'm going to replay the same pattern now back on G major seven with the sharp eleven for four measures. One two and three four. One two and three. Four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. And then finally, I'm going to end the intro replaying the pattern on G major seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I played the pattern for four measures, and then after the fourth beat, I played the entire chord, and then a break. Okay. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like so. So play all the notes and then break. That's how we're going to end the intro for the song. All right, here's the entire intro, slow tempo. G major 7 Okay, now we're ready to recap and play this entire intro at full speed And that's it for this first part. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Eurobeat.